to a flag of the United States of America and to a republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, from to liberty and justice for all. Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is your man, next man, and I'm going to tell you the truth. <coughs> Sorry, folks, my voice is having a little bit of scratchy right now, but I came here to tell you that something's going on in our country, our nation, and our world. Tonight, we're going to celebrate our new nation, Stephen Nations right here. Or should I say, Stephen Nation, that is. <laughs> well, as you really know about this, folks, tonight we're going to talk about what's going to happen in New York. I'm talking about Ebola. I'm talking about the mayor. I'm talking about our president. I'm talking about John Boehner. Even our Washington, the Congress, the Senator in the Bronx. But oh, let me tell you something, my brother. I know I'm I'm a real America. That because I am the real American. And you know what? I was born to become a real American. I'm from the New York Knicks. And New York Knicks has been around for over years. Or make it for over 40, for over 40 years. But I can't learn how to count. But I still believe I'm a New York Knicks, damn it. And I'm proud to be American. Just take a look right now, America. I smell the trees. I smell the fresh air. I smell the weather is coming up. Do you feel the heat, my brothers? Do you feel the heat? If so, will you stand up and join with us of our new nation, Steven Nation? <coughs> Hello everybody, I'm um, Stephen Gomez247 uh, and welcome to a very first annual of the Stephen Factor, Stephen Nation. Alright, I want to tell you what Stephen Nation is all about. Um, the reason I come up with Stephen Nation is a, a political episode about what's going on, what happens in New York City, which is our area, Washington, and even politicians, governors, mayors, and all kinds of stuff. So as you know, folks, the election day it starts 
on Tuesday. But remember, if you're watching this, this show will might be recorded and we'll probably tape it on Friday. So keep that in mind. And even I have um and I have a little bit a, a little bit of copyright issue on YouTube that I have some of the videos are been copyright and we will talk about that a little later on maybe this November or so. Okay, um Martin just called me right now. And I think that um, he have a little bit of preview that what's going on on Steven Nation. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, give it up for Martin Roches, please. Martin? Thank you very much, Steven. It's great to be on Steven Nation. Really happy for you, man. Thank you. Thank you very All right. much. All right. So, tomorrow, guys, it's Tuesday. It is election day. Um... Look, it is the midterm election, as they call it. Yes. All right, every even number year, it is the midterms, and there's some midterms. It's going be big because we have elections from all of us, not only here for New York, but also the entire country. We have elections for governors, attorney generals, comptrollers. We have some state legislators, state assemblies, state senate here in New York. We even have 435 House of Representatives members that are up for grabs. 36 Senate seats up for grabs. I mean, it, it is just pure pandemonium. But we're here to break it all down. So, here we go. So, let's start in New York. All right. New York. All right. Let me, let me go first anyway. Martin... You know, for the past couple of months, we, we, uh, and all summers ago, our, our New York City is in trouble. And, 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 and especially for us, you know, we're sub paras and, and, and the New York Board of Education is still free, so we didn't get any higher yet. So listen, Martin, what's talking about the Ebola? Did you know the Ebola is right here in our area, right? Yes, we have a uh, Ebola patient here in New York. Yes, and Dr. Craig Spencer is in the hospital, and he's still in stable condition. Am I correct? Yes. All right. So, um, tell me what will happen. Tell me, give me the update right now. What happens to Dr. Spencer? Well, he is doing in good condition. He is still in stable condition at Bellevue Hospital. And, uh, you know, his condition is, is getting a little better, but I still keep him in isolation. Oh. Um, his girlfriend is no more in quarantine, so that's really good news. Oh, wow. And, um... Incredible. Yeah, so, like I said, it's... It was only Dr. Greg Spencer, the only Ebola patient in New York, and so... Awesome. Yeah, and we're very sorry for that, Doc. But we hope and pray we'll get even we'll get his health back and even but the Ebola is in jeopardy and let me tell you something the Ebola has been started during the West Africa right? Yeah. and you know remember uh, AIDS has arrived oh so many diseases has arrived West Africa has been number one target for over the years and the truth is Martin we didn't know what Ebola means we never heard that word before right? So this is a new word of the day. What is Ebola, Martin? Well, I not know health analysts here, but I do know that Ebola is a very dangerous, dangerous virus to battle. Wow. Yeah. That... And it really spreads throughout your body. Yes. And as you know about this, if you're watching this, folks, um, we have to protect ourselves. The most important you need to do to get rid of the Ebola, just wash your hands, clean up the house, use your cleaning products, just clean up the whole house, even take a shower, and, you know, just trying to be careful out there, folks. It is. I got a flu shot. And a flu shot. Yeah, the flu shot is the most important. And speaking of flu shots, let's talk about, oh, man, this is my favorite topics of all time. You ready, Martin? 
Let's say it together. And one, two, three. Mayor de Blasi. Oh, Mayor de Blasi. Oh, 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 man. I told you, you have to sing together, man. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's start it again. Let's start again. Mayor Du Mayor De De Blasio. Okay. Mayor De Blasio. We already know him. He messed up big time. Make it a dozen of times. Martin, what's wrong with Mayor lately? Remember you've been texting me. And he and he decided to upgrade himself to become a U.S. Senate, I think. Steven, 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 hang on a minute, pal. All right, all right. Yes, uh, Mayor de Blasio is definitely to upgrade himself, and he decided to become a unit senator or something like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just tell me what 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 you text me like a couple of weeks ago. Well, let me just say there's a lot of I say this to my best me as a Democrat and you as a Democrat yourself. Yes. Basically like an idiot right now. Okay, tell me all about no, it. Idiot. Tell me all about it. Well, I I saw it this year, you know. Coming into office, really understood that he's gonna do well. He's gonna take over Bloomberg as our office's bill policy in 2013. But unfortunately, he's been scaring and spooking a lot of voters the last 11 months. And he even wants to ban a ban on horse carriages, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, a ban on horse carriages. So they ban the they banned the carriages already. No, no, not yet. terrible, Martin. That would that'd be terrible. I mean, Mayor is, is really going this too far. But a few summers ago, during the the A R W the L the L I W R strike two, right? Okay, what 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 let's start from let's start from take a look back at twenty years ago. Um his father, um another Governor Cuomo, right? He was trying to help. Yeah, Mario Cuomo. Yeah, Mario Cuomo. He's trying to help everything to stop this LI double R strike. But it looks the strike is over. No, I thought it happened happen. Twenty years ago, uh, it only lasted for two days. But you know, it was costly for Mario Cuomo because he went out to lose city election to uh, by the former governor, Republican governor George Pataki. Yes. Yes. And that's like Pataki era was here and he was joined with Rudolph Giuliani that time as yeah. well. But let's take a look back in 20 years later, also known as the LIRR Strike 2. He, he did the same thing just like his father, Andrew Cuomo. And guess what? Andrew Cuomo did all by himself. And he nailed he it. Got the job done. Yes, he nailed it. But here's the question. Why the hell that mayor didn't help him? Given the advice, that's completely stupid. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how he went to his vacation, spent some time with his family, and he thinks that I think New York is a better place. Blah 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 blah. Dude, this is serious matter. This is New York City. Get it together. What do you think, Martin? Well, I mean, look, listen, Governor Cuomo is doing a great job, and you know, he's doing this. Uh, well, Andrew Cuomo should become the next mayor in New York City. How about that? Well, either that or Senator Chuck Schumer. Well, Chuck Schumer, well, well, you know, maybe he could run as a New York City governor. But let's get the facts of de Blasio and Fanina era, okay? Mayor de Blasio is a good mayor since day one. He helped all these people close the schools and clean up the snow.
during a month later, he's from he's began to from the creativity to stupidity, and he messed everything up. All, all the schools will might be closed. All the hospitals closed. Mayor is lost his mind, and Martin, I'm afraid that Mayor will not run it for the second term for the next four years. Well, yeah, there was originally a report that he filed papers, and a bunch of papers that he will run for a second term. But, but, but do you think that people will should fall for him? Well, people will understand him. I mean, remember, remember, the, the commercials, all the files, all the lies, people will get brainwashed. I think they will going to vote Mayor de Blasio again, and this is my prediction. Okay, this is my prediction. If Mayor de Blasio will win at the second term, he will be start over again. If not, he will step down at the first year and let somebody will, will take his place. That is my opinion. Well, you know what? First of all, Stephen, yes. the voter turnouts. Okay. This is only the voter turnouts if he wants to run for second term. Okay. But he also needs the labor unions to get behind him. Already he has struck many deals with labor unions. Yeah. Already in his first term, the first 11 months of his term. And how's he um, doing with the labor unions? Well, he's been doing exceptionally well. I mean, he has done his broken deals with um, deals with labor unions. And now uh, he's like sixty percent of all the way done. Okay, that's pretty good for him. But what about his grades? Did he very well do in his grades this month? Well, he's fifty percent behind. He has a full range of fifty percent. Oh wow! But, uh, this is gonna be a tough for him, but you know Mayor De Blasio was scared to get his flu shot. But remember, he almost he almost sick when his Ebola. But thank goodness he took his flu shot for that, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Also, um, Carmen Fanina, the school chancellor. How's she doing? Well, she, she's doing okay. Doing okay? That's any kind of situation? I mean, she's been doing fine, and um, I feel like she's, well, not doing an okay job, but she's doing an okay job. All right. Okay, let's talk about schools, Martin, and this school is the most important thing. And also, we're going to um, another breaking news with the police commissioner, and we have a first black um, police stepping down, so we're going to talk about that afterwards. Okay, let's talk about firing teachers and stuff. Martin, you already saw the paper, including myself. I think it was sad for all the teachers are moving on. How do you feel about that? Martin, this is a reality. 
And I I just wish Mayor de Blasio would do the best as he can as the mayor. But since we vote for him, Martin, I think all of us and all the Democrats are made a mistake. I think we picked a wrong guy to fix in our country. I mean, let's go back to the Ed Koch. Ed Koch cleaned up all the city. And he did a very good job, Martin. He did a very good job. He fixed all the city. He helped to clean up the streets. And he's the one of the longest running mayors in history. But he will step down that he wants to do a third term. But do you remember the Bessonhurst era and back in the mid 80s when Ed Koch made a mistake during a uh, Bessonhurst and he made a mistake and he very apologized. But but this year he's no longer with us. And and we always remember him here in our hearts. You could see all these commercials, but we could always call him Mr. Mayor. How I'm doing? How are you doing? You know, always making his face. What about yeah. Mayor? What about Mayor Giuliani? You know he was a great mayor, right? He was a great mayor. He cleaned all the city. He did a very good job. A little bit of mistakes there during the mid '80s. Get rid of all this painting back in Brooklyn Museum. You know what happens. And now we have. And now he saved the city during 9/11, right? What is Giuliani? Yeah, and. And he was there on time. He helps all the people, and he's trying to fix it as he can. But man, Bloomberg era. But ugh, you know how Bloomberg what what happened, man. I mean, three terms, stop and fix era, stop and fix era, uh, fricks. Okay, stop and fricks era. He has so many tons of mistakes. I I don't know what happened, but I think it's be. I think. Mayor did a very good job, but also he's a, a chairman now for the 9-11 memorial. Yeah. And now, Mayor de Blasio, up and down, a little bit positive and negative. I just worry that Mayor de Blasio needs to stop. I think he needs to stand up, help this city once again. And I think this is not really going to work for him, I mean, of Mayor de Blasio. I mean, like, come on, we love this guy. He helps everything right now. Ooh, excuse me. His biggest accomplishment is bringing universal pre-K, full-day universal pre-K. Okay, what's, okay, um, did Mayor de Blasio check all the schools, Martin? Well, that was his biggest accomplishment, universal pre-K, but now, there's been a crossroads between him and, and New York City Comptroller Scott Schrenger. Scott Schrenger wants all the contracts for free pay to help inspectors be done. And unfortunately, there's only 200 of, of the 500 oh, the inspectors. Wow. Well, they need to sign the contracts. And and what will happen to their their children? The, the children, they need to get their future together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, they need to check the school, see how they're doing. Maybe they need to renovate or something, but that's the most important, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we're back on track. And I think that, ugh. And I think Mayor de Blasio will give him a second chance. But I'll give you a warning. If he doesn't do his second chance, his life will be turning down, turning upside down. I realize I wish man would do the best as he can. He needs to get along with his politicians. He can't do it himself. And, and, and listen, Martin, what's that guy said that Mayor de Blasio is a cool mayor in New York City? Uh, who is that person? What's that guy's name again? What guy are you talking about? Okay, well, Mary, give me a text. And you and and that guy said Mayor De Blasio is a, a wonderful mayor in New York City or something like that. Is what's his what's his name? Uh, 
you text me and a senator, a Democrat senator, whoever. Ah, uh, Democratic state senator, I believe it's Jeffrey Klein. Yes, yes. Jeffrey Klein for the Bronx. Well, they had the Independent Democratic Conference there in the state. Is he lost his mind? <sighs> Why did he say that? Well, listen, this is a guy who, him, Jeffrey Klein for the Bronx, and his five other independent Democrats had a coalition with the Republicans last year and this year. And so they broke the deal. And th and they say if the Democrats went back to state New York State Senate and they'll form a new Democratic coalition to get the progressive things done. Oh. Do you believe that? Oh, wow, that's crazy. But that's a good news or bad news? Well, was it? That's the bad news because the Democrats, they were in the majority in 2009 2010. They couldn't get nothing done. Okay, now they that. They had a Democratic governor. Oh, wow. That's, that, that means Andrew Cuomo, right? No, that was David Patterson back then. Oh, David Patterson. Yeah, I remember. I remember. That's crazy. Yeah. And so that's. And that and and it's still pretty bad in this year, right? Well, it could happen. Oh wow! Because the Republicans they work really well with um, Andrew Cuomo. Wow! So the Republicans get along with the governor too, right? Yeah. But let me tell you something. It is it's it's even similar than the Yankees versus the Red Sox. The Democrats and Republicans really don't get along. But some Republicans really don't get along. We have so many boroughs are Republicans, from Queens to Staten Island. I'm correct. Well, listen, we're here in New York City. We get along, Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, we do. We 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 really do. And yeah, we really do. But what's going? Well, okay, and you know. And maybe Andrew Cuomo will become the next mayor of New York City, but I think mayor might be could tough for him. But look at Andrew Cuomo. I mean, he's following his father's footsteps, and he did a very good job. Yeah. He did a very good job. He saved the LIRR, and guess what? Nothing happens in 20 years ago. Everything is history. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And guess what? No vacations. He did he went to vacation to spend some time with his family, Martin? Uh no, no. Never? No, no. I think the well there was one time we this year he went to uh, Israel. Oh yeah. He, not for vacation, it's just a political thoughts, but he went to Israel to check what the war in Israel was and just a couple of weeks ago he went a political campaign in Puerto Rico, the Mexican Republic. Oh wow, that's crazy! Wow, that's that's wonderful, but but he wait, but then because he came back to trying to fix the city done, and make this con and get back on track. Okay, Martin, let's talking about uh, uh, in Washington right now. How's our president doing? Not not so good. Okay, give me your, give me your analyst about that. Not so good. Uh, the approval ratings for the president very low, thirty nine percent. You have got to be kidding me. Thirty nine percent. The approval ratings. You have got to be kidding me. I I, I I'm pretty shocked. I, I don't know what happened to it. What was what's going on with ISIS? Did they when when's gonna be a war on ISIS? The president didn't give an announce on the war on ISIS. The ISIS is, it killed so many dozen people, including journalists, man. We don't know what the heck is going on in this situation right now. Well, the, the ISIS threat has really been quiet ever since uh, Congress left town, but I would not be surprised if it picks it up again when Congress uh, resumes next week. Mm -hmm. And what happened to John Boner? What about him? We're never talking about for a very long time since he take over this government shutdown for over 20 years ago. Well, John Boehner is the current House Speaker. Uh, there's some supporter Republicans that really don't like him, especially... Sorry about uh, that, Boehner. Yeah. Uh, I don't like him. Uh, but the 
Republicans uh, are they're definitely going to retake control of the House tomorrow, and they could be in a stark night for Republicans tomorrow. I don't know if John. No. <laughs> I know you have parents in the back room. I'm I'm sorry, folks, for that. We have parents too. He has parents. I have parents. Yeah, we don't have no studios, just bedrooms only. <laughs> uh yes. So if jo imagine more, if John Boehner will become a president, he's not gonna take over the country. He's gonna take over the world. Do you think so? No, I, I really don't think so. All right. Okay. What about Mitt Romney? Well, let me stop right there. You know Mitt Romney will do a second chance. He already did. He was running for the president uh, for in 2009, I think. Or 2012. 2012. No, no, no. He's doing first and second chances. Yes. Yes. 2009 and 2012. Yes. And, you know, he lost and everything. But, um, you already heard of Facebook. Will Mitt Romney will run as president in 2016? Is that a yes or a no, no question? No. no, 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 okay. But I know Hillary will go and run as president again as the first female president. Well, that could be a possibility. Well, it could happen on the TV shows, but I don't know about that one. Ugh, my goodness. This is going to be a tough one. <laughs> well, I think, I think, I think, um, I think that's, um, we have time for, um, the Stephen Nation. And I think, uh, I will talking about this copyright and, um, and, and a few, and a little bit, a few minutes. But for now, uh, Martin Roches, um, thank you so much, man, for, for having me for, 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 the, on Stephen Nation. Thank you, Stephen. It's been an honor. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, but before we go, um, you know, we celebrate a Sandy second anniversary on the Halloween week, which is on Sunday, October 28th, Last week. 2012. Yes, that's right. And, you know, um, we still celebrate the people who've been lost and who've been no longer with us, who've been surviving New Jersey. But as you know, we saw in the news, there's no houses in New Jersey. I don't know when Governor Christie will go and fix this. Well, I mean, you know, it's just terrible. I mean, uh, first of all, let me just, um, my thoughts and prayers really still go out to the families and the victims that still, after all this is damaged by Superstar Sandy, still two years later, so, I definitely see a site, see a family without a home, so, uh -huh. um, my thoughts and prayers go out to that, but. Wow, and, and New Jersey is uh, Yes, I know. And the government could not do anything. And we're still, two years later, we're still in a rebuilding mode. Yes, I know. We, we, That's just disgusting to me. I know. There's dozens of houses that have been missing. Christy needs to fix it. I don't know when he's going to do it. I mean, come Jersey governor, New York mayor, I mean, it is just like, we need to cut together and get something done. I mean, come on. Do you remember WABC did a very good job two years ago? called A Day of Giving. WABC yeah. and Walt Disney team up at each other to create a wonderful a donation called A Day of Giving. And guess what, how much that thing cost, man? A million dollars. $16.8 million, correct. Oh. And you know, WABC did a very good job. They're only, it was the New York's number one news. They they help all the dozens. You know what? Make a millions of people, man. That any other local news. Normal Channel Five, Normal Channel Eleven. Well, Channel Eleven is okay, right? You know, um, they trying to get help, right, Martin? Yeah, Channel Eleven. Yeah, yeah, Channel Eleven. Normal Channel Four, Channel Two, blah blah blah. I I don't know, man, but I think Channel Seven is give us a message to all the people who's been out there. No light, no food to eat, no bills to pay. 
they need to do something to help these people in Hurricane Sandy. Yeah. And you know, two years ago, I start a coverage of Hurricane Sandy in my neighborhood, in Crown Heights. You know, Brooklyn is okay, but except all the trees have been wrecked. And, you know, God knows what will really happen for this. I mean, this is a second time I have Hurricane in my neighborhood since, ow, since Gloria 29 years ago. Hurricane Gloria. And, you know, I went as soon as brought me here when I saw it. I mean, this is history. And, and God knows what will going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right. As you know, Stephen Nation is almost, um, almost continuing. But Martin Rochez, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Have a good, have a good night, man. Thank you. Bye. All right, everybody. Still to come, I'm gonna tell you about the copyright um, on YouTube and. Um, and and also uh, I'm but this is the first time I'm definitely going to say on um, YouTube copyright infringement. So um, still to come, we'll be right back. The Steven Factor has been brought to your part by McDonald's. I'm loving it. By Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles every Friday night starting at eight only on Nickelodeon. And by P369. For over 20 years, we bring out a best schools in Brooklyn, New York. Okay, folks, welcome back to a Stephen Nation. This is, oh, uh, wow. Uh, we have to um, try to do something a little different right now because, um, you know, last night it was on um, the election day. And we got some good news, and we got some bad news. The good news is Andrew Cohen won as the second term as the New York governor of New York City. The bad news is the Republicans are taking over last night. And if you don't believe me, take a look. This is the graph. The whole Republicans are taking over. I I really don't understand why, but I'm really sorry. But the truth is, it was a, a total mess right now. So I had to call Martin, and, and he had the same thing too. We've been texting like moments ago. Let me just call him. And, um... We had to, um, I need to exit this out. Just forgive me. Just give me one second. What's up? Martin. I definitely need to talk to you, and before we're going to start, this is not rocket science anymore. I know, I know, the Republicans, I know. But this is Stephen Nation. <laughs> and I believe that Obama is in a, and I think our, Obama is 100% dead meat right now. So, listen, we texted each other moments ago. I saw the graph of myself, and you're right, man. It has a lot of reds, like red blood. Yep. Uh, but it's not actually red blood, just a half of it. But, I mean, look at it. We have New York. We have Michigan. We have Arizona. Uh, uh, we have a little half of the Florida, half blue in there. and Everything's all over, boy, all over. And you're absolutely right. I don't know why the Republicans got their brains, but I think they want to get the president out of here. I mean, picture this. Do you remember the Watergate scandal? Yep. Of Richard Nixon? Mm-hmm. 
And guess what? He's and Richard Nixon said that he's not a crook. So but he, but he resigned. Yeah, he did resign. And this is the first time that President never resigned before at the White House. But if Barack Obama will resign, this this will be his second resign since Richard Nixon does. And, and you text me say he will might quit the election. I mean, four more years is enough. And, and I'm really so sorry to Mr. President. I think he is going in the wrong place and the wrong time. But I think that this is. This is gonna be his last days. I I'm sorry, I have no words. Well, like you said, Stephen. Let's let's, let's um, go back to 1994, Stephen. Go ahead. Uh, the, the, the midterm. You remember the midterm wave of Republicans? Yeah. Like in 1994, when Bill Clinton was in office. Yes. They they just control the House and Senate. They just just play the House. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Bill Clinton got the job done. He got he got work for Republicans. He, he passed major legislation. He passed the Welfare Act. They, they had a balanced budget amendment. I mean, they, they got things, they got things done until that uh, Clinton scandal back in '98. That Republicans really want to take him out, but but that was seven. Yeah, I know. I remember that era. Yeah, but. So, uh, uh, you know what? I'm a funny scholar. We're going to go back to the, to the 90s once again. Mm hmm Well, um, man, if Bill Clinton will talk to Obama some advice, it could be helpful for him. You know what? You watch. I think President Obama is going to work for Republicans. This is going to get things done. I just want to know you're going to get more legislation done than the previous two Congresses. Watch. And he will. Well, it's gonna happen. I have full confidence in that. And he will. And he will. I mean, only God knows, man. Only God knows. And I, and we love Obama personally. He will Obama. But I want Obama will talk to Republican Republicans once and for all. And and you know, let's see what will happens for the next couple of months. And we will give you a a little update of him as soon as possible. But remember, Martin, Obama is approval is downhill, man. Completely downhill. Yep. He needs to back up again. He needs to back up again. I I think I'm I'm very upset. But take a look at this graph here. We have Republicans, right? We have 244 plus four lead. The Democrats 180 plus seven lead. The Independents nothing. Republicans are take over the whole country. Yeah. And they and they have the um the Senate, which is fifty two to forty five. And according to French Hill, now the Republicans got like fifty one point ninety one percent. That's yeah. almost like one hundred and twenty three thousand and fourteen and still counting. And by the way, there's there may be one more seat be added because And we will definitely continue on that because, oh my God, this is. And all of that, there's a runoff in Louisiana too. Mm-hmm. So they go to the Republican too. Mm -hmm. And so by the end, and all of that, you have the Virginia race, which shockingly, uh, it's still too close to call. Uh, by, by the end of this, we're looking at a. Uh, 55 to 45 majority for the Republicans. But in Virginia, I look at Virginia right now, everything is all wet and all red, man. We have Bob Whitman have like 63.04% of the Virginia of Rob Whitman. And you can take a look. I'm sorry, everything is red right now. We have a little red, blue. Red, red, red. Yeah, like a red food punch or something. I mean, like. Uh, it's not only the House and Senate, but the governorship of Massachusetts. Mm hmm. Uh, and the Democratic state, and like what happens? And. It's a Republican, even in Maryland. 
even I'm Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, we have a little Democratic blue on the side. This is Philly, and you see it's red here. We have a little blue on there. Uh, also, Massachusetts, you said. Well, Massachusetts is blue for, for the Democrat for now. It's blue. Yeah, yeah it, it's safe. And we have, and you said Maryland, right? Yeah, Maryland for the governorship. Let's take a look for Maryland. Well, Maryland, well, it's half red and half blue. So I think a little red taking over. I think it's a little half red, half blue. And yeah, we have Andy Harris got 70.86%. And oh man, I, I'm so confused. But this afternoon, Martin, um, you know Obama, Obama's having a press conference like, like this afternoon. He said that he, they were going to do some ISIS and stuff. Tell me the analysts about that. Well, he said that he's going, well, first of all, on Friday, he's going to meet with uh, social leaders mm -hmm. and they'll hold a meeting on Friday. Mm -hmm. And they will, they're going to talk about the next two years, about three years of President Obama. And well, that's on Friday. And then today, President Obama says he's eager to work with the new Congress. He wants to work for Republicans to get things done. But what about John Boehner? Well, so, so that's the problem, John Boehner. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Remember, Obama and Boehner don't get along very well, man. This yeah. is going to be hell's breaking loose. This is even worse than Yankees versus the Red Sox. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, but but I, I well, we just wish Obama for all the best, and we got everything to get the strings done because the economy is still jeopardy. They well, definitely. The economy is going growing, but it's growing slowly. Yes, even new working jobs, even in New York, the board of education still freezes, so we definitely need to wait for a little while too. Yeah. But listen, Martin, I just realized you have a day off yesterday, right? Yes. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right. You know, all subs were not supposed to be here on the election day, but uh, but if we get permanent, we'll definitely get money, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Martin. No problem. All right, later. Bye. All right, folks, um... Uh, before we go, you know what happened. You already saw um, the other Republicans are taking over, and that's how they do it. Okay, let's talk about the copyright infringements. Um, you know, I decided to re-upload uh, the copyright issues. It was up there on YouTube, so make sure you could check it out. And next week, uh, I will ask my friend Jonathan Rios, who will join me, to talk about more copyright infringements and you know we definitely need to um, talk about that as well I want to thank to um, I want to thank Martin Rochez for having me here and this is Steven Gomez 247 signing out and thank you for watching the Steven Factors Steven Nation God bless